The current withdrawal agreement, that 585-page document that the EU put together alongside the UK government, states that the UK needs to pay into the EU budget until December 2020. That's when the transition period is expected to end. However, the same agreement says that naturally, if the UK needs to extend the transition period, then the UK will naturally have to keep paying into the EU budget. So it's not about punishing the UK if it indeed needs an extension to this process. It is about continuing with what's already been agreed. A UK official told me here this morning that there are no plans for the Prime Minister, for Theresa May, to come to Brussels later today and that the talks are still deadlocked. I have to say as well that uh, the mood here in Brussels is really a wait-and-see approach ahead of the important vote tomorrow in the House of Commons. So far, what this side has been saying is that they want the UK to approve this exit agreement so then they can move on with the Brexit process and we can start discussing future trade relations. That's what the European 27 countries have been saying. They of course want the deal to get approved back in the UK but of course there's still a big question mark in London whether or not the lawmakers will actually approve this deal. But despite that big question mark that's what the European Union wants at this stage. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.